Hi, uh, so let's learn a little bit of Excel. This is not a perfect course in Excel, but I'll teach you the basics that you're going to need to answer your first problem set. So whenever you have a whole lot of numbers, calculators are not as very as useful as you'll soon find out. So you need some kind of a software. Oftentimes it's Excel or Stata or R. There's a whole SPSS or whatnot. So let us learn a little bit about Excel and how to crunch numbers. So first, you know, you can format these things. Each one of these cells have a specific name. So this cell is A1. This cell is, say, C2 and C3. And you can see the names here. Uh, you can kind of make these things, uh, the columns wider or less wide and whatnot. You can copy, paste things, you know, Control X or Command X if you're using Mac. Command V, so you can move it around. You can insert rows or columns you can say insert a row here if you wanted to so simple things like that uh, makes the table look much better all right so what we're going to try and do here is figure out how to make a, or how to compute a mobility matrix so to do that the first one of the first things that we usually figure out is the world average right so why don't we go ahead and do that and instead of having these numbers side by side let me insert a column in there the reason I'm doing that is because I want the ratios that we saw in class for 1980 in this row in column here I want the ratio of 2000 okay uh, <clears throat> let me make them wide as well all right so the mean whenever you try to call upon some kind of a function in uh, in Excel or you're trying to write some kind of a formula in Excel you're not just typing a number in you start with an equal sign and there's a whole bunch of built-in functions that come with Excel so the one that we're going to use right now is average so that's basically giving you the arithmetic mean so if I type in a right at the very moment I type in a it gives me all the potential uh, functions, all the built-in functions that Excel has, and it's this one, average, okay? Most of the time it will be obvious what the numbers are. And inside we will have to say which data do we want to average out. So one way to do it is to highlight it. Highlight all the numbers that you want to take an average off. And once you're done, hit enter. Now that's the average. To take a closer look, if I was actually to type in the formula, I would type in equals average the whole thing. Within parentheses, I would write B3, B3, colon B23. That means from B3 all the way to B23. Okay? So say I'm typing the whole thing out, I would just say average uh, parentheses B3 dot or colon B23. And notice how it highlights it. Close this parenthesis and hit enter. You could do other stuff, say geometric mean. So let me call the geometric mean. The one for that is uh, actually geo. So I could say equal g. And then I have geo mean here. That's the geometric mean. I could take the average again. That would give me. Now, notice, of course, we're not going to use geometric mean in figuring out the mobility matrix. But that's something you might need in your other exercise. Also, the you might need percentile in your other exercise, so the one with the IHDI. Uh, the one for that is, what do you think? It'll start with probably P, so let me put in P. There it is. There are lots of those here. I had currently used percentile, that's why it's up there. But even if it wasn't up there, it should be somewhere here. So there you go. Now notice when I did that, it says here, it kind of tells you what the function should look like. It says array and uh, k. So we need to give it two pieces of information. One piece of information is the data for which to compute the percentile. And then they are putting a comma. So let's just go into this formula bar, put a comma. And k is basically uh, the percentile you're interested in. So if I'm interested in the you know, 10th percentile, I would put in 0.1. If I was interested in 50 percentile, 0.5, and so on and so forth. And if I hit enter, it gives me the 10th percentile. All right, we'll stop here, and in the next video, we'll continue.